I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this very important video where we will learn how to work with a given formula. We have taken nine examples here, very important, useful formulae which you use in maths and physics. You need to rearrange the formula and write it with the indicated variable. We call this as isolate indicated variable. Now in every equation you will see something after comma and that is the variable I need you to isolate. That really means that you have to write the formula for A in the first case in terms of F and M. So the nine examples which we are going to cover are F equals to MA, isolate A, PV equals to NRT, isolate T, Y equals to MX plus B, isolate M, V equals to D over T, isolate T, 2AS equals to V square minus A square, you need to find what V is, A equals to half base times height, find height, T equals to 2 pi square root L over G, isolate G, 1 over A equals to 1 over B plus 1 over C, you need to isolate B, and the last question here is, Y equals to A times X minus H whole square minus K, you need to find what X is. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so let's begin with the very first one. We are given F equals to M times A. We need to isolate A. So that means we do not want M. So what should I do? I should divide by M on both the sides, right? So we have this. So we'll divide by M on both the sides. Clearly, as you can see here, M and M will cancel. We can simplify. M divided by M is 1. And so we get F over M equals to A, right? Or, now writing A on left or right side is one and the same thing. Or you can write A equals to F over M. Clear? Now let's take up the next one. Here we have PV equals to NRT. So let me rewrite the formula. PV equals to NRT. We need to isolate T. That means we do not want N and R. So what should I do? We'll follow a similar strategy, right? So we'll divide by N and R, right? Both the terms. So N cancels with N, R with R. We have isolated T as PV equal to NR. Correct? So T equals to PV over NR. The last one here is equation of line Y equals to MX plus B. You need to isolate M. So now we do not want this B and also the M. So we actually follow reverse bad mass order of operations. So first we'll take away B from both the sides. So we'll do this as Y minus B equals to mx plus b minus b. So when you take away b from both the sides, you are left with y minus b on the left side and m times x on the right side. Since we need to isolate m, I should not divide by x. So I'll get y minus b divided by x equals to mx divided by x. Correct. So x and x will cancel. So we'll get what we wanted, the value of m we get m equals to y minus b over x. Right? So it, we can also rewrite as m equals to y minus b over x. Correct? So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take up the next example, which is c. We are given here that velocity is displacement over time and we need to isolate time. Now, what we can do? We can multiply both sides by time. Since it is in denominator, we have V equals to D over T. So first step, we'll multiply both sides by time. Clear? So when we do that, from the right side, time gets cancelled. And so we get T times V equals to D. And now we can divide by velocity. Correct? So now we are going to velocity, divide by velocity V in both the sides. And we will isolate T as d over v, correct? Is that clear? Since velocity is cancelled. 
So that is how you will do C. Now, 2as equals to v square minus u square, we need to isolate velocity v. Let's rewrite the formula. 2as equals to v square minus u square. We need to find what this v is. So first step, we should add u square, right? So we have 2as plus u square equals to v square minus u square plus u square. So that gives you 2as plus u square equals to v square. u square plus minus u square is 0. To find v, we'll square root both the sides. So we get square root of 2as plus u square is equal to v, right? So we get our formula. Velocity v equals to square root of 2as plus u square. Correct? Now, the next formula here is area is half base into height. Now, in this case, let me tell you, when you square root, you should write plus and minus, right? So, we are assuming velocity is to be positive, right? Um, that is what we are assuming. But normally, uh, we should actually write velocity as plus minus square root of 2as plus u square, right? So, that also is the correct answer. Okay, so let's look into the next one, which is, area equals to half of base times height we want to know what height is so we do not want two in the denominator and b in the numerator for the right side so in this case we should multiply by their reciprocal right so we can area times two over b we can say right equals to half b times height times well multiply and divide by two over b so you can see that two and two cancel and b and b cancel so we are left with 2a over b equals to height or height equals to 2a over b. Perfect. So we get our formula. So like this, we can really isolate and get all these formulas. Let's move on and take slightly difficult ones. Now this is a bit tricky. I'd like you to pause the video, uh, solve this and then look into my suggestions. Now let us see how, how to isolate the variable g from the equation t equals to 2 pi square root l over g. Right? So we have t equals to 2 pi square root of l over g. We need to isolate g. So what we can do is first step divide by 2 pi. So we get t over 2 pi equals to square root of l over g. So at this stage, we divided by 2 pi on both sides. So earlier I was showing you this step and cancelling, but now I'm not cancelling. So you could directly do this, right? So this is our first step. Now we want what g is. So now the, it is within square root. So the next step we will do is square both sides. So when you square both sides, it becomes t square over 4 pi square, right? Square the whole thing, right? Equals to, here we get L over G. Perfect. So what we did was, we basically squared both sides, like squared it like this. Do you see that? So we get t square over 2 square is 4 pi square. Don't forget to square 2. And here square root and square is reciprocal of one another. We get L over G. Now, we can cross multiply, kind of, we'll take g on this side and rest of the terms on the right side, correct? So, so we'll do cross multiply to isolate g. So, we'll just take g there, right? So, we get g equals to, rest of the terms on this side, we get 4, I mean, I have to write 4 pi square, I mean, 4 pi square over t square, right? So when you take it on the side, times L, you get an idea, right? So this is how we are going to get. So G is equal to 4 pi square over t square times L. So that is how we are going to isolate. Do you see that part? So we have done a shortcut method. So in your case, what you could do is, you could do an alternate step at this stage, that is, both sides multiply by 
we could actually reverse it. So we could write as g over l equals to 4 pi square over t square. We could do like this, right? That is, take reciprocal. And then multiply by l, so we get g equals to 4 pi square times l over t square. So that is also correct. So you could do in this fashion also. So from here, you could go in this path and get your answer. So that is an alternate way of doing it. Next question here is to isolate variable which is in the denominator. So we have 1 over a equals to 1 over b plus 1 over c. We need to isolate b. How should we do this? Now this is very tricky. First step is bring 1 over c to the other side. That is to say, we'll do 1 over a minus 1 over c, right? So we get this on the other side. Let me give you more steps. Last time I skipped. That is take away 1 over c from both sides, right? So when you do that, you get 1 over a minus 1 over c equals to 1 over b. Is that clear? Since this is 0. Okay. So we did subtract 1 over c both sides. So whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side also. Now, you can take a common denominator and simplify the left side as a times c, c minus a equals to 1 over b. Is that okay? So we just simplify the expression. And now take reciprocal. So if you take reciprocal, it flips and you get b as equal to a times c over c minus a. Do you see that? So we get our formula. In this case, b is equal to a times c over c minus a. Very important step, right? So you see, in such cases, reciprocal helps to get us the formula. So we've taken two examples where we could take reciprocal and isolate the variable. This is a very important strategy. Now here is the last question, which has absolutely different strategy to follow. This is a familiar quadratic equation in vertex form, right? So we have y equals to a times x minus h whole square minus k, and we need to find what x is. So the steps involved here are, first we will add both sides k. So we get y plus k equals to a times x minus h whole square. Now we'll divide by a. You can write all these steps on the right side. I'm not writing it now, right? So it is x minus h whole square. And now what should we do? We should square root both sides. So when you do square root, you should write plus and minus. We get y plus k over a square root plus minus is equals to x minus h. You want x, so take h to the left side. You get h plus minus square root of y plus k over a. You get x, correct? So when you isolate, you get x equals to h plus minus square root of y plus k over a. So that is how you can isolate x in such a case. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now there is a question for you. This is your test question. In this case, I'm giving you standard form, right? So I'm looking ax squared plus bx plus c. I want you to isolate x, correct? The answer is known to you, but I need the method. The solution for this, of course, is the quadratic formula, right? So when you do all that, you get a quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. I want you to derive this formula. So that is how you actually isolate x from a given quadratic equation. So I hope this exercise helps you to work with formulae. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.